Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm trying something a little bit different for this video today. I've been thinking about the content that I include in my weekly podcast which is of course Inside Number 23 which I post every Monday on this channel and there are often things that I just don't have time to talk about um, in my weekly podcast and I thought what would be a really really fun thing to start doing would be a monthly favourites video. So my favourites video will be sharing with you a whole selection of different things that have been bringing me a special amounts of happiness over the past month. Some of them will be knitting and sewing related and some of them will just be general wonderful things. So um, this is of course my first ever monthly favourites video for July of 2016 so let's just get right into it shall we? So the first thing I wanted to talk about in my monthly favourites is sweater knitting. I am utterly obsessed. If you're a regular viewer of my podcast, you'll know that I've been working recently on my featherweight cardigan by Hannah Fetic, and it has just reminded me how much I love working on garments, and in particular sweaters and cardigans. And now that my um, featherweight cardigan is finished, yes, that's right, you guys, you heard it here first, it's officially off the needles, and I will be blocking it this afternoon. Super excited. I have been um, queuing up some new sweater and cardigan projects that I will hopefully be casting on in the near future. I wanted to highlight two patterns in particular that are really, really getting me excited. The first one is Chuck, and that is by Andy Satterland. And this is a cropped sweater, very kind of vintage and retro in inspired with a beautiful cable pattern down the front. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's been in my queue for quite some time, but I have just recently realized that I have enough yarn in my stash to be able to pretty much cast this on right away. So I'm not going to lie, that's probably going to be happening within the next couple of days or so. So <laughs> the second pattern is called Sophie by Jennifer Wood. And again, I've had this queued for quite some time, but it is just beautiful. It is a cardigan, also has cables. I love cables and textured knitting in general, so this is right up my alley. It's in a DK weight, and at the moment I don't have anything in my stash that is going to quite work for it. So this is going to be the main pattern that I will be shopping for when I'm at Fibre East um, this weekend. So I am very, very excited. I really want both of these items in my wardrobe. I love them, and I just want to knit all the sweaters at the, mo at the moment. Next up, um, I made a new purchase, which I'm going to be able to start using soon and it is a new organizer. I am one of those people who loves making lists, writing in diaries, organizing my life, and it's really important to me to have a good planner. What I have seen recently on the market is, I think it's an 18 month organizer. Basically, it's a planner for a year and a half. So it starts from August, it goes through until December of the next year. So this planner that I've now purchased is going to last me until Dece December of 2017 and I'm so excited to start using it. Here it is! Isn't it beautiful? It's this beautiful um, uh, pink colour. It has these roses on it and I love it. It has a little bit of metallic in the rose leaves as well and it's just so cute. 2017, already planning for the future. It's by a company that I've never purchased from before. It's called Bando, which I believe um, is an American-based company. So you may be able to get these in the States as well. I purchased this from John Lewis, but one of the things that I really loved about it is the layout of all the pages is super fun and graphic, and there are kind of really fun um, entry pages for example, this is January, March. It's very visual and pleasing, and it also has a lot of space to write, which is something that's very important because I tend to write a lot of notes day to day. So the weekly layout goes across two large pages, so there's plenty of room to write down lots of notes and that type of thing, so I absolutely love this. My next favorite of this month is actually a book purchase, and I say that it's something from this month, but this book was published this month and I actually purchased my copy this morning and I have already finished reading this book. Um, I must admit it's something that I've been looking forward to um, for quite a while and it is this book. 
It's called On the Other Side and it is by Carrie Hope Fletcher. I have talked about Carrie on my podcast previously. I admire her greatly. This is her first um, work of fiction, On the Other Side, but she is a YouTuber. She has an amazing YouTube channel, which I'll link below. You should definitely check her out. She's also an incredible musical theatre performer. She's just a very inspirational lady. She's so talented on so many levels and I was very, very excited about reading her first novel and obviously as you can tell I enjoyed it as I have read it in um, half a day. It's not a short book, it's a relatively sizable book but it was quite unputdownable. It's a very very sweet story, um, the tagline is a love story like no other. I'm just gonna read you the inside of the dust cover. Evie Snow is 82 and she quietly passes away in her sleep surrounded by her children and grandchildren. It's the way most people wish to leave the world but when Evie reaches the door of her own private heaven she finds that she's become her 27 year old self and the door won't open. Evie's soul must be light enough to pass through, so she needs to get rid of whatever is making her soul heavy. For Evie, this means unburdening herself of the three secrets which have weighed her down for over 50 years, so she must find a way to reveal them before it's too late. As Evie begins the journey of a lifetime, she learns more about life and love than she ever thought possible, and somehow, someway, she may also find her way back to the only man she ever truly loved. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's definitely... Um, an interesting read. I really enjoy her style of writing, her characters are fantastic, my favourite parts were um, the developing relationship between the, the two main protagonists who are Evie and Vincent. I really enjoyed um, reading kind of about their relationship and um, yeah I would thoroughly recommend it. It's available now in the UK, I'm not sure if it's available internationally right now but it's definitely worth a read and um, considering that I pretty much devoured it in less than a day when I haven't been reading a huge amount recently you can tell how much I enjoyed it. So yes, On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Moving on from books and on to something that I've been watching recently, um, my main favourite of the month in terms of television programmes is a Netflix series called Stranger Things. I really don't want to say too much about the story because I think it's one of those things that you will get so much more if you watch it and you don't know. In terms of the style. It's set in the 80s and it's not just based in the 80s, the entire way that it has been filmed is very much reminiscent of 80s science fiction, adventure, horror films and it's just amazing. A lot of people have said that it's reminded them of films like um, The Goonies and E.T. or The X-Files and also Stand By Me but I would say it's also got a bit of a Stephen King twist if you've seen a lot of the um, Stephen King film adaptations that were done in the 80s and the 90s. There are science fiction elements and horror elements to this and it's a big part of the plot but even if you're not a huge science fiction horror junkie like I am you'll still be able to enjoy this because it's riveting. It stars Winona Ryder, haven't seen her in something for a long time and she is still incredible, I'm a big Winona Ryder fan. Um, it also stars David Harbour who was in The Newsroom which is one of my favourite TV programmes ever but he is particularly incredible in this, he's really really wonderful. They also have a very very strong young cast, there are four young boys in it and one younger girl and my favourite of all of them was um, Millie Bobby Brown who plays a character called Eleven. She is so talented. I mean, all of the children cast in this in this series are incredibly talented. I absolutely loved it. I would recommend it. I would say if you were a little bit hesitant because of the horror element, I would still give it a try. I just can't say enough good things about it. I have three more favourites for you. First up is going to be a tea choice for the month of July. And yes, I know it is technically summer and we shouldn't really be drinking tea but there have been a couple of grey days let's be honest in the UK we get a lot of grey days and so my personal favourite of tea for this month is pretty much one of my one of my go-to teas it's my it's my old reliable and that is Snore in Peace 
by Clipper. It's one of my ultimate favourite teas. I really enjoy Clipper tea, but this Snore in Peace is probably one of my favourite flavours of all time. It's a blend of chamomile, lemon balm and lavender, and it is really, really nice sleepy tea to have at the end of the day. Even when it's been hot outside, I do enjoy having a cup of tea before I fall asleep. But this is just so soothing and delicious that you can have it at any time that you're stressed, and it literally just makes all those stresses melt away. So yes, Clipper Snore and Peace Tea is a personal favourite of mine for this month. Now you guys all know that I'm a huge, huge yarn junkie. I love my yarn, and so what would my monthly favourites be without talking about a favourite yarn of the month? This month, I really couldn't not have this yarn as my favourite because I've been raving about it for such a long time, and that is of course Vulenvine yarns. I'm going to recommend Vulenvine yarns in general as my favourite for this month. I currently have two skeins left in my stash. One is of course the limited edition collaboration that Kristen of Vulenvine yarns did with Laura of the Jinx um, yarns of Jinx yarns and it's the Bushwick Nights colour which I absolutely adore on her Stellina base. It's so gorgeous but really it's all to do with Gashley Crumb which I currently have on um, Kristen's Volca base which is a Merino Cashmere nylon blend and this is the yarn that I have used for my featherweight which is now completed and working with this yarn has been nothing but a pleasure. Considering the incredible experience that I've had using this yarn for a larger project, so for a cardigan this month, it really just had to be um, my personal pick, my personal favourite. So Vool & Vine yarns in general is my pick, my special pick for July. If you can ever get hold of any of Kristen's yarns, they are just incredible, but in particular, Gashley Crumb, personal favourite of mine, and I just can't get enough of it. Absolutely love it. So my last recommendation for July is gonna be a little bit of a funny one, and it's actually a nail varnish. I love painting my nails. It's a really cheap way of making yourself feel quite fancy. So it's really nice to feel that you've treated yourself to a little bit of a home manicure every now and again. And at the moment, my personal nail varnish of choice is this little guy here. This is Barry M Nail Paint and the colour is called Vintage Violet. It's one that I've worn in quite a lot of um, videos recently and a lot of you have commented and said that you really like the colour. It's the colour that I'm currently wearing on my fingers and it's super, super pretty. It's very, very quick to dry. It's very, very reasonably priced and um, Barry M nail varnish in general comes in a huge selection of different colors. So you'll be able to find one that works for you perfectly and it dries super fast too. So you don't have to, you know, spend a lot of time waiting for your nails to dry um, so that you can start knitting on something again, which is always a bonus. So that's all my favorites for July, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of short and sweet um, video and I'll hopefully be making making one of these uh, for the end of every month. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, my most regular posting is my podcast, Inside Number 23, that is released every Monday, but I am starting to make more and more of these shorter intermittent videos in between those, um, that weekly podcast. I hope you've all enjoyed the past month and I will see you at the end of August for some more favourites. Bye!